Welcome to the Data Cloud video series brought to you by Salesforce. My name's Simon Connick, Data Cloud Instructor here at Salesforce. In this video, you're going to get an overview of Data Cloud and how it powers your business to transform the customer experience, how it helps unify your data and connect with your customers in new ways. Data Cloud enables trusted generative AI, helping you to build deeper customer relationships, improve your productivity, and grow your margins. Now, even if you've already made an investment in data lakes like Snowflake or Databricks, Data Cloud helps improve the usability of those investments. You're also going to discover how Data Cloud approaches important topics such as privacy concerns, data deletion processes, and the life cycle of data. This video also covers some general use cases for Data Cloud and how it integrates with other Salesforce products. Now, Data Cloud is a powerful tool for enhancing business operations across various domains, whether it's boosting sales through upselling and cross-selling, automating marketing efforts, or empowering specific sectors such as healthcare, finance, or retail. As a hyperscale data engine built into Salesforce, Data Cloud connects all your data and your metadata. Its integration into Salesforce's metadata layer means an object in Data Cloud is also an object in Salesforce. When your data resides in Data Cloud, it becomes accessible across various Salesforce applications such as Flow, Reports, and Lightning. Essentially, Data Cloud acts as the glue that connects your isolated pockets of enterprise data. It offers you the opportunity for AI to augment the flow of your work, to empower your teams to engage customers at every touch point with relevant data and insights from the number one AI CRM. Now, Data Cloud is an open and extensible platform that integrates any system seamlessly. What do we mean by that? Well, let me try and explain. One of the design principles of Data Cloud was that it would not be restricted to data residing only within the Salesforce ecosystem. The open nature of its platform allows you to integrate external systems and data sources. The platform is also designed to be extensible, meaning you can expand and customize it to meet your specific needs. Now, this includes the ability to connect with modern data technologies like data warehouses and data lakes. You do this by using a growing library of connectors already available for various data sources, including you know, both data lakes and data warehouses. You can also use your own intelligence and decision-making models within the Salesforce ecosystem because Data Cloud allows you to integrate custom AI models too. And lastly, there are many, many independent software vendors who contribute to platform extensibility by adding data enrichment and other capabilities. First, connect to all of your customer data at hyperscale. Do this with an extensive library of out-of-the-box connectors native to Data Cloud and in partnership with the MuleSoft AnyPoint platform. The challenge here is that data from disparate systems may still be, and probably will be, in a variety of formats. Data Cloud transforms and harmonizes all of this data, no matter the format, into a common data model. This common data model can then be used to form a unified customer profile, a single source of truth for every customer. But the real power is once your data is in Data Cloud, it's activated across all Salesforce applications. Those activations can be calculated insights, real-time segmentation, analytics in Tableau, triggered automations, grounded AI, and much more. Now let's talk about grounded AI. What does this mean? Well, Data Cloud is the context engine for Salesforce Einstein. It provides the type, quality, and scope of relevant data needed to learn about the world you are operating in in order to predict recommend and generate accurate content. With your unified data, Salesforce Einstein is smarter and can efficiently power predictive and generative AI. Data Cloud provides the unified platform for businesses across various sectors to manage and harmonize and use data effectively. The issues you see here are common across many industries. For example, customer service teams use Data Cloud to solve a customer's case by accessing a customer's real-time unified profile including information about their past service interactions, marketing engagements, and even their loyalty or lifetime value scores. Sales teams drive better informed and sales conversations and recommend the next best products using the customer's unified profile powered by Data Cloud. Marketing teams personalize communications across many channels in real time achieved with a truly unified profile. Commerce teams automate tailored pricing, promotions, or product recommendations. 
Analytics teams integrate Tableau with Data Cloud across the vast scale of real-time data to better understand the why behind customers' actions and share the message across your business. I hope you start to get a sense of the power behind unified, harmonized, easy-to-access data. There are many industries with specific data cloud benefits, such as enhanced fraud detection in financial services or the ability to send personalized, real-time communications across web, email, and advertising by using unified profiles in marketing businesses. Let's focus on an industry-specific use case next. I want you to imagine a streaming service at a company suddenly fails. Heaven forfend. The company needs to quickly identify and communicate with the impacted customers. Now, using Data Cloud, the company pulls together data from their Salesforce orgs and external data in their order management system to determine which customers could be affected by the failed server. Next, by adding data from ServiceNow, a system monitoring tool, the company is aware of the incident when it happens and can pinpoint exactly who was affected by the outage. The streaming company acts on this unified data to trigger a flow that proactively notifies impacted customers on their preferred channel. Using Einstein GPT, the streaming company automates customer notifications to save time for their service agents. They tailor responses and support actions throughout the incident. And this is all thanks to Data Cloud's full view of the customer. Now, let's take a broader view for a moment. Across many of these industry-specific use cases, the privacy data model in Data Cloud can be used to manage your consent data. Regardless of your industry, this allows you to incorporate customer consent into segmentation processes. A consent API allows real-time consent updates directly to Data Cloud. To bring more automation and security, data protection and privacy regulations might be used to require you to delete customers' personal data when customers request it, or when it's no longer necessary to store. Data security measures are already part of Data Cloud. Data deletion requests may be submitted through the Consent API and are processed at 30, 60, and 90 days to ensure a full deletion. Such requests to be forgotten must be made in all connected systems and Salesforce clouds. The Consent API also enables you to verify the status of such requests. Now that we've talked a little bit about the capabilities of Data Cloud and what it can enable you to do, Let's look at what is required from an implementation standpoint. There's a life cycle to your data, and here are all the components that are part of it. This includes both data preparation and data consumption, which are broken down into several actions. Provisioning includes these actions. Provision and set up Data Cloud instance, users, and permissions, and configure integrations to source or target systems. Also shown here are the implementation steps related to data consumption, segmentation, activation, as well as insights and analytics. One of the first big decisions that must be made is where to provision Data Cloud. The two options available are to provision Data Cloud into an existing Salesforce core org or to create a new org specifically for Data Cloud. When provisioning into an existing org, the Data Cloud application is added to the existing org along with the required additional permission sets needed to access and set up Data Cloud. Provisioning a standalone Data Cloud home org the Data Cloud application is provisioned to a separate Salesforce org with similar requirements for access and setup. To learn more, be sure to check out our other videos. You can also search for topics in Salesforce Help or come join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.